Yo, what's up, you're watching here to welcome back to another video. Today I'll be playing Who Wants to Be a Murderer. It's like this Who Wants to Be a Millionaire type game. And speaking of which, I remember playing this game. This was back in the day. It was a Who Wants to Be a Millionaire game. But like that, like the actual game though, Eric. Yeah, you pick all these questions or that. I'm gonna try to find it. Anyway, let's play this. I don't know why I'm yapping. Coding for Artist Presents. Who wants to be a murderer? Uh, hey, hold on. Bad I like this. I like this. Let me enter my name. Play. Sensitive content, some little violence, a big and decisions ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, one and all, to the Twisted Spectable that is our game show. Today, my dear viewers, we have a most intriguing cast of characters lined up for your entertainment. But enough from me. Let's dive right in meet our first participant, shall we? Um, and now, from the bustling metropolis of Chicago, where truth is a commodity brought and sold, we welcome Sega Thompson, a journalist digital- What? Diligently seeking the ultimate scoop. Good evening, viewers. Let's have some fun and game, shall we? Okay, Sega. From the concrete jungle of New York City, where dreams come to die, we have the enigmatic Richard Greystone, a man whose legal prowess is matched only by his moral flexibility. Greetings, esteemed guests. It's a pleasure to grace your screens with my presence. Let the games begin. Next up, straight from South. I didn't add my location yet. Hold on, let me. Hmm. Cause I was thinking like, okay, he's saying all these people's like locations. I didn't add mine though, so it's just gonna be a random. That's I don't like that. Um, with the skill determination of a true gamer, I am a true gamer. You're right. King AJ, hey, um, how did you know it? Hey, what? How did you know that about me? And of course, our final guy is not gonna answer that, yep. Our final guy doesn't need no introduction, hailing from the foggy streets of London, where whispers of the occult echo throughout the night. We have the insop- Bruh. Why can't I read? We have the inscrutable Edward Darkwood, a man of secrets are as numerous as the stars themselves. Greetings, mortals. Let's embrace the unknown together. Edgar. And there you have it, dear viewers, our motley crew of contestants each with their own dark desires and ambition. Isn't that a song by um, Post Malone? Came in a man, serious. Came in a dang, serious. What? Came in a game, serious. We came in a Miley crew. What you gonna do? I'ma pull up with the crew. When I'm off the juice, I like to hang out the roof. That song is fire. We need to do better than this again. So sit back, relax, and prepare yourselves for a journey into the heart of madness. Let the games begin. Welcome to the first phase of the show. This is where we separate the wheat from the chaff, the knowledge seekers from the mere mortals. In this round, your great matter will be put to the test and every correct answer will swell. The frick? Will swell your coffers by hands on 10,000. Dang, first round 10,000, I'll take that. Now, without further ado, let's dive into the depths of the unknown, shall we? Ah, King Asia, here's the question. Which of the following animals has been known to engage in cannibalism? Chimpanzees, right? Yeah. And aunties? They do, though. Ah, you should. Here's the question. Which famous author is a woman to have had a fascination with the macabre and occult? The, the answers are Edgar Allan Poe, Jane Austen, Charles Dickens, Mark Twain. I'll go Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah. Edgar Allan Poe, the master of macabre, infused his tales with eerie atmospheres and dark themes that continue to chill it is to this day. Ah, Sega, here's the question. Which medieval torture device famously used to stretch the limbs and torso of its victims? The answers are Iron Maiden, the rack, 
Brazen Bull Gulletin. Um, the Rack. Yeah, that's correct. Yep. The Rack, a marvel of medieval engineering, third stretching exercise into a spine tingling experience. Who knew pain could be so flexible? What is up with this guy? He looks like um, Ted Lasso, bruh. <laughs> this picture right here. Ah, Edgar, here's the question. What is the name of the infamous serial killer who inspired the character of Norman Bates in Psycho? The answers are John Wayne Casey, Eo Gain, Ted Bundy, Jeffrey Dahmer. I'm gonna go Ted Bundy. I didn't I didn't watch Psycho, but I'm gonna say Ted Bundy. Ed Gain. And the answer is Okay, so they're just gonna get their answers right. Okay. The man behind the expression of Bates is none other than Ed Gain, the charming gentleman with a penchant for interior decorating. That includes our first round of mind-bending questions, folks. And with that, we'll be taking a short break for our sponsors, but I want to offer my lovelies. In the return, it's time for a bloody exciting game coming up next. And remember, there's no cutting corners here. And so it becomes in a minigame, with a knife, of course. My dear contestants are off the air for now, but fear not. If you need anything, anything at all, you know where to find me. Just don't keep me waiting too long. Nah, this dude is weird, man. Hey, what's up with you? With this napkin coming up, who knows what'll happen. I heard Sarah's not handling too well. Makes you wonder if she'll make it through One Piece. How'd you hear that? She's standing right there. I get it for the knife game. Just remember to take it slow and steady. No need to rush into anything risky. So, King AJ, I get to continue? No, 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 hold on, hold on. Let me talk to, let me talk to Sarah over here. I, I, I don't know if I can do this, King AJ. I'm scared. But what if I mess up? What if I get hurt? You're stronger than we can find a way out. I mean, hey, she, she's kind of cute, you know? I don't think that means anything. I'm just saying she is cute. Look, you're stronger than you think. You're stronger than you think, Sarah. This game might be tough, but we'll do it. Uh, we'll get through it together. Yeah, you really think so? Okay, King AJ, let's do this. Yeah, lock in. Okay? Yeah, let's go. Excellent, start back in. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on air. Before we dive back in, here's a quick shopping tip. Snowy's wish, an intense boss battle to a lost snowball against Santa Claus just to enjoy absolute free. Now it's time for our first mini game of the evening where the contestants character will put to the test. Let's see if they have what it takes to handle a little knife play. Yo, the contestants will have 30 seconds to score as many points as possible. They must touch the table with the tip of the knife, avoiding any mishaps with their hands. Oh, we're doing that thing? Man, no way. At the end of the time, the contestant with the lowest score will be the first to face elimination. Let the games begin! I have to time this? Easy. Oh, boy, I almost. Oh my god. I didn't. Easy. Oh my, oh my god. god. Bro, this thing is like. Ah, there you go. Ah, there you go. I'm just gonna wait for that one. Wait, but it says lower score though. I have to lock in though. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ooh, okay. Yeah. I knew I had the lowest score, bro. I... My gosh. Yeah. Then it's time for the moment we've been waiting for the first elimination. The unfortunate soul will be bidding us adieu tonight is none other than... That's ending 104, I bet. Let's actually try to win this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which Eastern civilization believed in human sacrifice to appease their gods? Uh, Greeks? No, Aztec. No, I, I really don't know. Yeah, I, I knew I was wrong. I was thinking Aztecs. Get it, get it, get it. What is the female circular bathed in the blood of virgin to maintain her youth? Ellie Woods, Billy Connors, Elizabeth. Elizabeth Bentley, and the answer is. Yeah, they get all the answers right. There's no point in doing this, man. Ancient Rome was a name that you know where gladiators fought to entertainment, the uh, Colosseum. This is crazy. Jack the Ripper, who was the famous unknown. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, no, just a second. Let me tell Sega to lock in again. Hold on, but I need to use the bathroom. Two hours later. Came with the gang, Mary. Came with the Molly crew. What you gonna do? I'm a beloved. No, let me stop. 
Oh um, yeah, Loki and Sega, Sega, come on. We can find a way out. Wait, what? Listen, Sega, if you're not up to this, we can find a way out. This game isn't worth the risking hurting you. I think I think I need to get out of here. Ooh, this is difficult. Hold on. Yeah, spot busy leave. Yes, you're right. Better do a draw now. Thank you, I appreciate your understanding. <gasps> oh! Sega, ah, is that my fault? Did I, did I do that? Listen, in this game, there's no turning back or running away. It's best to keep that in mind. Let's dive back in. Slight setback, so if I'm not going to the game, then I'm going to see certain results. People were watching. They were right there. What do you mean? With one contestant eliminated them, we have to skip our first mini game. Yes, that knife thing was so tough. I'm listen. Rest in peace to Sega, but I can't do that knife mini game. That was that was so annoying. Before we dive back in, is a quick shopping tip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The show must go on. We dive in to our second round of questions. Where the contestants mobile file will put down the microscope for to see. Yada yada yada. Yeah, okay. Let's see who has the occasion. Yeah, this dude keeps yapping, man. Get okay, ready for some talk. Yeah. Here's the question. Okay, I actually need to win this. I have zero. Both of them have 10,000. Oh no, you got his wrong. Okay, yes, 10,000. Ultimate power is yours, but you lose your humanity. What's your decision? Is there a wrong answer? This seems like a personal question. Like, I don't think there's a wrong answer here. Hey. 15,000. Oh, interesting. Power without humanity. A tantalizing offer for the bold and heartless. Here we go, Richard. Question time. We're going to bring someone back from there, but another must die. What's your choice? Ooh. If I have a lot of yeah. My answer is sacrifice strength for Sauge's eyes. Interesting. Are oh, you got money for that? My friend death my car down so we get wrecked and we need to decide. Here's the question. You find the diary detailing someone's dog secrets. What's your next move? Um, for making your body, respect all privacy, read out loud on the live stream. That's crazy. <laughs> Why? And I, that seemed like a lot of effort. Okay, I have the same amount as him. Second round of questioning, and we have peeled back some layers. Now we got a glimpse of the real deal, the real essence of each contestant. They size each other up, and believe me, they're sharpening their clothes for us to come. The voting phase up next. Stay tuned after this short break. We'll reveal the two finalists of this twist. Ooh, finalists! Don't forget at the finals. <laughs> but it says voting phase, so. And for you out there watching it on, don't forget to call our toffee number to join us in the studio audience for the next episode. There's always a need for fresh faces. Voting, eh? Well, well, things about to get interesting. The shadows deepen. It seems worth the now. We need to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't keep waiting too long. I right, let me talk to him. Watch your back, mate. Trust is a rare commodity in these parts. Okay. So, it's come down to this, huh? Tell me. Should I trust you over the other contestant? Um, why would I say no? Yes. Edgar, the champ, is his trouble for me and for you. It'll be a risky for you to face off with him in the finale, wouldn't it? How about we vote him out and clear the path for us? I don't want to play dirty. I got Sega killed. It's too late for that. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. So vote out. What's his name? Edgar. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Excellent. Cam's about to die. Um, let's dive back in. Before we kick things off, gotta say I like the answers you gave in the last round. You're holding on pretty well. I'm just a fan of the show. Oh, really now? Well, color me impressed. Always nice to meet a dedicated viewer. Okay, let's continue. Welcome back, folks. We're live again. Before we dive back in, use a quick shopping advice. Blooper the Lost Mission, a small, okay. Are, are they promoting their own games? Hey, fair enough, but <laughs> I'm thinking, right? It's time to induce our next phase of the voting round. Here's how it works. Each player will cast their vote on who they believe should be eliminated. The contest with the most votes will be out of the game. Now, to avoid an unpleasant deadlock situations where everyone gets a vote, in that case, open this into it. So think carefully, including who you believe others must vote for. Alright, let's get down to it. You can get your you voting for. I have to say it out loud? Yes! Get him out of here! See, he voted for me, bro. What's up with him? Yeah, he's dead. 
All right, folks, getting closer to grand finale of the show, and that means the questions are getting a bit more serious. Whoa, each correct answer in this final round will earn you a whopping 25. Ah, he has more money than me. See, I need, I need to have a perfect game. Like, I need to get the first question right, get Sarah out, skip the knife game, and... Ah, okay, I'll... I'll but enough to chill, let's dive in the last questions. It's your turn. Can you do it ready? How long can a person survive without food or water under normal conditions? I'm not gonna lie to you, it should be five to eight. No, three to five. It's between no, is that six? That's six. Three to five, right? Please. Yes! I I was yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what he's talking about. But look, he's not gonna get his question at all. Like three to five days, okay. Time to shine on yeah. What is the approximate volume of blood loss that typically leads to death in an average adult human? Answers are 23, 30%, 40, 50, 5, 7, 10, 15. Please get it wrong. <gasps> he got it wrong! Why is this synthetic imbalance lose 50% of for blood failing to a person death? I mean, losing 50% of anything, it's kind of not good. It's time for our last commercial break before the grand finale. Our two finalists on occasion a duo food with thousand spoils ago. Blood Battle of Entertainment. It's the last chance to catch a breath. Hope you're ready with a shot. Shotgun? No? What are you talking about? Yeah, we are. No more game the tricks for now. It's just you and me left, but I'm sorry, I'll be the one walking away victorious. Are you ready to face the final showdown if you need a moment? There's no one else to talk to. Let's dive back in. I like your style. Tell you what, how about a little engagement? I'll start your time at 10 seconds after your opponent. And oh, let's add a little twist. I'll make sure your opponent's shotgun is, let's say, not at its best. Ah! Just a little varnished. Hey! What do you mean, no cheating? Hey, listen. Excellent choice, my friend. Now, that's the spirit of the show. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on air. We're about to find out who will be the winner of this exciting night. Before we dive everything, here's a lot of shopping tip. Okay, you're just gonna promote your game, right? Yeah, okay. In the initial phase of question, we test our contestants' knowledge and their courage with a knife minigame. In the second phase of question, we probe the megality of the players and the coldness requires the truth to eliminate another individual. In the final phase of question, we assess whether you know the method and if you've made it here, you have all the cards on the table to be true murderers. I forgot that's the point of the show. <laughs> it's just one final step to truly define yourself as such. Action! So in this phase, you'll be armed with a shotgun and 30 seconds of time. Whoever manages to take out the most people in the audience will be the... Bro, oh, I'm so trash. I called up. Bro, I'm not good at shooting. Please, pull up, yep. Bro, I, I really suck at using mouse and keyboard for stuff like this. If I had a control, it's a different question, that's all I'm saying. I, I lost. I lost. You did add 10 seconds to my time though. Oh, I, I sold, I sold, I'm selling, I am selling. Please. <gasps> oh, yes! Yes! Uh, tonight's silly episode. Pro do, let's get around with pros our brave contestants for the um, valiant effort. Now, without further ado, our champion, or should I say our murder is none other than. No, please, don't do this, don't do anything, I'll beg. King AJ, yes, <laughs> yes. See guys, the lesson today is cheating always wins. I, I don't know. But remember, this victory isn't just about the prize, it's about the journey, the thrill of the hunt, the adrenaline rush of the kill. And let's not forget the sweet and toxic scent of blood in there. So without further ado, let's count on murder and bid farewell to another exhilarating episode of Who Wants to Be a Murderer? Dang, I didn't even get top 10. This guy had 50,000. That's crazy. Hey! And that was actually really fun, I'm not gonna lie to you. But yeah, look, it's been your boy King AJ. Um, I'll see you guys in another video. Oh, no, no, no.